Well, pulling the chains out for my 748. Long day. My straight 640 broke down all the way at the end of the woodlot. It's a uh, it's a two and a half, three, two and a three quarter mile skin uh, one round trip. And uh, of course, I didn't know what the weather was going to do, so I didn't buy chains for this. So I finally, finally got a set of chains for the front. They are uh, they're the nicest, most aggressive, best chains you could buy. So hopefully it works good. But uh, it's nice to see that the 748 lights work, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we can pull it out with this thing. We'll find out. There's a the chains right there. Made in Norway. And they're uh they're made by Trig, they're called uh trolls. A really, really aggressive chain. Nasty, nasty chain. Expensive. They were thirty three hundred dollars, but if uh boy if I had the if I had the if we didn't have such a long mud season, it's a record record long mud season in New York State was this year. It was seven months long. If we didn't have that record long mud season and all the re, all the re, and the, all the repairs I had on the loader and my other two my other two six forty skidders, I uh, I'd wrap this thing all the way around in chains, but that thirty three hundred dollars a set. It's hard to uh, it's hard to get yourself to spend seven grand on uh, skitter chains, you know. Everyone says they want to be a logger. It looks cool. Here we are. I don't know. It's probably six, seven o'clock at night. I've been up since four o'clock. I haven't eaten since nine o'clock. Still recovering from my accident. And. Uh, this is logging, folks. You gotta love it. You gotta have a passion for it. It's gotta be what you live for. Or I'll tell you right now, you won't make it. But uh, I love what I do, and I love logging, and I love heavy equipment. I love skitters, and I love chainsaws. That's all you need to know. Huh.